I met a gypsy. Do you have like really good memories of racing amateur and doing that whole deal or did it get kind of tough towards the end as you got into like the factory stuff? Uh, for me, like I have the best, yeah, good memories. It was good. It's my parents were like real, they were like, they really tried to raise me right. Like they did everything they could to like really keep a short leash on me and not let me be a, just a punk ass kid. That was their goal. I think, you know, my, my mom homeschooled me. Like they were real strict. I mean, I had like, it, it was too much. It was real strict. Like I was going to say, did that backfire me. when you went to California? I, I, yeah. I mean a little bit, but I still had like the same values and stuff that they gave me. I just hung out with people that had real bad reputations mm. that kind of reflected poorly on me. Not to say I'm like innocent and didn't do anything bad or wasn't a little bit rough, like in, in play in times of my life. Cause I for but sure I mean, was a lot but, of dudes were, but I think I caught way worse to a rap than I really was. You know, like I was getting called a stoner before I ever smoked weed like really? by like Steve Mathis and like just I just so like you know like they were calling me and Lawrence like Cheech and Chong and just like talking shit on me and yeah. I was like I'm like I didn't even drink I didn't smoke like I was just like I might have had a like a little bit long hair but not like yeah, yeah it, it just and I'm from Oregon maybe I just had that vibe I'm a stoner kid and then the people I was around maybe you know a couple of them might have smoked weed but you know it's just I caught that rap real early and yeah. then I don't know did you, did that like, did that shit piss you off? Because if you weren't like, cause it, dude, even I thought that like, and I wouldn't, I'd never seen shit firsthand with you like doing anything, but like I was, I would have been like, yeah, no, nah, fuck makes sense. Well, I'm not saying I ever smoke weed, but like, no, but like back that then, when I yeah. was a racer kid and I'm factory and I'm doing all this stuff, like I, yeah, no, like, I mean, I was getting put on drug test programs and stuff but like when I, before I was do like before I'd ever even tried anything. That's crazy. So it was just like, uh, yeah, it was just kind of wild. And it was just kind of, it's, it's all like in racing and, and all that. It's all like what people perceive of you, yeah. you know, like that, you know, if you, if, if you have a bad year and it's because you're hurt or it's because of this and, but you know, and people perceive it out to be something else. Like your values just, yeah, it's just it's how racing is. So, I mean, yeah, it pissed me off, but then it also motivated me because then mm. I'd come out swinging, you know, like yeah. I come out and prove everybody wrong. And then there's not a better feeling in the world than shutting people up that just are talking and talk, you know? Yeah. Do, well, was it, do you think that media started changing when you turned pro? Like, cause that was sort of like we said before the, I fucked that up but before like your year coming out of amateurs was like one of the highest paid you had like you said nine factory dudes come out of that year it seemed like the whole like media machine and attention on kids because it's like people the media didn't really have like attention on kids at that point but it's like it wasn't until you guys started getting those crazy deals that it was like you literally had like grown men like Mathers talking shit about a fucking kid. Like it's kind of weird, right? Because it's like you're fucking seventeen, a gun's like thirty. It's like I get that you're a journalist, but like you're talking about a kid you don't fucking know. Well, and it was for it was money. Just, it was just the beginning of like you know the beginning of the internet. You know, like there was there was message boards, and then there was like Dude, MySpace vital and shit, and then like but then you had like like a guy like me, like I wasn't gonna go and. Sp- do nothing on say nothing on my space or I'm not going to do but somebody else might like post a picture that makes you look bad and then I'm new to the internet I don't even know it's out there mm. you know and then somebody else might see it or like yeah message boards like somebody could just you know go off and saying that you're doing something you got no voice to defend yourself it's yeah. not like now where you got Instagram Twitter all this stuff you can just like address something like hey look uh-huh. here are the facts like I'm not really doing this. Like you just had these people just making allegations about you and, and then they had a free platform to do it where back in the day, like there'd have to be like an editor of a magazine. They'd be like, Oh, you know what? We're not going to go for the jugular on this dude. Or maybe they would. Yeah. Like who knows? Like, I mean, I'm sure there's people that got the, wrongly accused of stuff on in, in print too. Yeah. But like, I'm just saying it. Was, I think you kind of had, you had like what, some time to yeah. let dust settle, look at it, gain, get, gather your facts and see if it's worth it. Where now it's just a press of a button. Yeah. Yeah. And the crazy thing too, like, um, like with the, for math is like, he's the only dude that's sort of tried to play the heel as like a reporter in motocross. Like he seems like he's the only dude that's willing to like go after guys and like Brodacross did it, but it was like funny. It was satire, but yeah. like Steve's literally built a career on like kind of being that dude that will like challenge riders and like call dudes out. And it's like, that's it's fucking effective like he's a big journalist now but it's like i don't know that i'd want to play that game you know 
Because that's a brand. Like, that's his brand. No, he, I, I mean, dude, you can't, you can't hate on the guy. Like, he f- took it, it way works. further than I've ever thought that, like, you know, but I, I didn't, he, you know, he's got a, he's got an audience and then they real loyal and, and they're people just starving for motocross information. And that's mm. probably the best place they're going to get it. And I mean, most of the time he's super insightful. Like, you know, he, he has like, you know, he, he, you know, every, if you want to find out, you know, maybe, a, you know, just get a sliver of something that's going on. If you listen to a math, this thing, like, you know, you kind of will get some, you'll get some, you'll juice. get some dust of what's <laughs> really happening. Yeah. And I get, that's what people are going for it. And, I mean, I just think maybe we need got it like as writers, like why is there no moto journalists right now just taking advantage of this? Like, mm. I swear when I'm done, like I'm gonna go just full like Stephen A. Smith and just like get a buddy in the room and just yell and just like argue, over, like not even care like what the outcome of the argument is, but just like, <laughs> okay, you take this point, I take that point, let's just yell at each other and talk <laughs> about this. Like that's all they do on sports TV. I was gonna say, that's straight it's sports center, like, bro. No. I'm telling you, rocks. You know, you just like, yeah. you gotta just like, just for no reason, just yell. Just get everybody fired up, drop some information, call it a day. And then, like, if, like where I think, like, maybe people try to take, like, what, like, math is kind of like codes everything. So then you can yeah. kind of look into it, which, hey, he's doing a great job. Yeah. For, he's doing an awesome job for him. And, like, literally, I probably would like the guy if he didn't, like, bash you when I was a kid. Like, call me a stoner before I was a stoner. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.